Welcome back to the channel. Today's video is all about how to dress thick arms. Y'all, I have thick arms, so I get the struggle. It's one of the places that I carry weight. And guess what? This is a common concern for many people. So we're not alone. But don't worry because there are many tried and true styling tips that will help you feel confident and comfortable in your own skin. Make sure though to stay tuned till the end because I'm gonna be sharing with you the one thing I learned that changed the game when it came to dressing around thick arms. If you're new here, my name is Chi Chi, and on this channel, we cover fashion, beauty, and a lifestyle. Now, before we get into the video, I know some of you are gonna wanna know, so let me give you the rundown on my outfit of the day. All right, so this blazer that I have on that, I don't know, it's not coming up true to color, and I'm not sure why, but it's definitely more of a richer pink. Maybe we'll fix the, the colors. So this blazer is actually from Boohoo. It's a boyfriend style blazer. It has this wonderful sort of like texture, and I posted a recent haul where I shared some of my summer boohoo finds so I'll link that for you in the description box below. Another haul that I've done, not sure if it's been posted yet, if it has it will be linked, is a vacation haul which is where this top I have on underneath is from. It's actually a bathing suit guys. Don't tell anybody. And in that video, I mentioned that this is one of those pieces that you could totally rock as a bodysuit and also rock as a swimsuit. Details for that video, if it's live, it will be linked down below. So for accessories, this is my current favorite combo. This necklace is from Etsy, it's gold. And this necklace is from a new brand to me that sells waterproof jewelry. Watch is Amazon. The bracelet is also from the same brand and the little, I don't know, what to call this friendship bracelet is also from Amazon. The watch, the bracelets linked in my Amazon storefront. And I believe that's linked in the description for you guys as well. These pair of sunglasses, which I'm using to hide my braids that need to be done, redone, is from Shein. A couple of years, like two, last summer maybe? Yeah, last summer. So I don't know if that's still available. And then my jeans are Good American. If you've been looking for wide leg jeans, okay, for curvy girls, Girls, when I say good American ate the fit on these jeans, they ate it. The only thing I wish, the only thing I wish, it was like a smidge longer, just like a smidge longer because I'm 5'7". But if you are under 5'7", girl, you will love these jeans, okay? They like, what, what fupa? But totally looks great in it like it they they ate the construction okay because i've tried to save a little coin and buy from other places and none of them fit as good as these jeans all right so that's the detail on the outfit now let's jump into it so some of these tips are going to be very common sense i have to be honest but i feel like sometimes we have to hear some of these tips in order to actually implement them so the first one i'm going to start with is going to be avoid tops that cut off at the thickest part of your arm. If you have thick arms like I do, cap sleeves, even I would say sleeveless tops, those type of tops will definitely help to highlight the top of your arm. If you got that little extra meat um, right after the cork of your armpit, anything that cuts around that area is going to highlight the thickness of your arm, especially if you have stretch marks or if your skin happens to be lighter in that area like it is for me, anything that cuts there is going to draw the attention there. So you definitely want to de-emphasize that area as much as possible, okay? And so depending on your comfort level, cap sleeve top, sleeveless tops are not the best idea for you. Alternatives to that would be sheer tops. So sheer um, tops with sleeves that are sheer. Sometimes these tops have like a split that runs down from the shoulder to the cuff. That way you're still getting some ventilation because it is summer. One great trick that I started implementing was actually buying men's t-shirts over women's t-shirts. Women's t-shirts tend to have shorter sleeves, more cap sleeves, very annoying. I started searching for boxy t-shirt, men's t-shirts because those t-shirts tend to be a little bit longer. I'm going to link some options for you. One of my newest favorites is from Abercrombie, but H&M, you could also search the men's section. You could also search oversized shirt and maybe size down if you want it to be a little bit more fitted in the body. But when you get 
get with those shirts is that the sleeves tend to come a little bit longer closer to your elbow which is a lot more flattering place okay for your shirt to stop you could also go vintage and thrift shopping and look at all of the graphic tees men's style tees if you're on a budget so if you're like okay girl it's hot you know you telling me not to wear cap sleeves short uh, you know short sleeves etc etc well that's the solution move your sleeve length a little farther down your arm it'll be at a much more flattering point so the next thing you need to do is avoid holding this tight fitting around the arms this again no brainer however i find that a lot of times if you're thicker in the arms when you buy things like blazers and like body suits and tops the arms tend to be tighter but the body fits at least that's what happens to me okay in the past i would keep the smaller size because it fit well in the body however whenever clothing is tight anywhere it always draws attention to the area so what you want to do is size up to fit your arms and get the body tailored that's gonna be my suggestion because when it's tight like that it literally makes your arm look like a sausage casing if your arms are anything like mine you probably have that little you know of fat like around the elbow all of that is highlighted and tension goes there my recommendation is to size up so the piece fits your arms well and then again you can always take in it's so much easier to take in stuff than it is okay to take out and if you don't want to do that because I know get you know not everybody has a tailoring budget not everybody wants to invest in tailoring then your option is to choose pieces that have more flowy loose sleeves bishop sleeves oversized sleeves you know statement puff sleeves all of these things give you a lot of fabric around the arm which really helps to disguise the width and the size of your arms now another thing you want to avoid is going to be pieces made out of bulky fabrics now this is typically not an issue except for the winter months where you have to wear jackets and coats but you want to keep in mind that the thicker the fabric is the thicker it will make your arms look now you have to decide for yourself if you're going to sacrifice your warmth for the slenderness of your arms but i did want to mention that because I had that heavier fabric definitely adds some inches and adds some bulk to your arm the alternative of course is going to be choosing tops and dresses and pieces that are made out of lighter fabrics like linen chiffon silk again the vibe you want to go for is loose and effortless and light that will always cause for attention not to be drawn to your arms the next thing of course is to avoid accessories that draw attention to the arms if you haven't gotten the gist of this is that you don't want to draw attention to your arms when you have thicker arms so accessories like you know arm cuffs i don't know if you guys remember those spirally arm cuffs that were all the rage in the 90s or was that the early 2000s i can't remember you want to avoid that or you know maybe something that has a thick band around the thickest part of your arm you also want to avoid that you want to draw the attention away from the arms by choosing pieces that draw attention to the areas of your body that you love for example a statement earring or even if you're going to do something around the arm like you know your wrist which tends to be a little bit more delicate so you can stack some bracelets there to draw the attention to the lower part of the arm or to draw your attention to your ears or even a statement necklace all of these pieces will draw attention away from that part of your body so the next thing you want to avoid is going to be horizontal stripes especially around the arms horizontal stripes draw the eye from east to west or left to right which always makes things appear wider in general i would say avoid stripes or any styles that really that draw attention to the arms so for example if you're wearing like a, a solid colored top but it has like floral sleeves or striped sleeves i would avoid those because again it's drawing attention to that area instead if you have to do a stripe a vertical stripe would be the better option because vertical stripes go up and down which always make the area appear smaller okay or slim slimmed sleek mm. y'all know what i'm trying to say okay <laughs> But yes, definitely horizontal stripes are a no for any part of your body 
that you want to appear slimmer. So if you're enjoying the video so far and you've gotten some great tips from this video as to what to shop for and what pieces to avoid and the pieces to add to your wardrobe, if you have thicker arms, give this video a thumbs up. And if you want more videos like this that share practical styling tips for your body type, then all you have to do is subscribe. Now, I promised you a bonus. <laughs> so let's talk about it. I'm gonna say that the biggest tip or the biggest thing that I learned about my arms was that it was not that serious. Um, and I'm sure you guys are like, wait, what? Yes, yeah, so it's not that serious, which means that above all, my comfort mattered more than the size of my arms. It mattered more than some, you know, people seeing my arms. And so that if it's 90 degrees outside, I would be warm in a long sleeve top. It was okay for me to wear a tank top. I can tell you this for years, I struggle with this. I would wear long sleeve tops. I would hide my arms. I would always be in three quarter sleeve tops because I didn't want anybody to see my arms. And then one day I was like, you know what? My arms are big, they big. Ain't nothing I can do about it. Um, let me go ahead and wear my tank top because it's hot outside. I just felt so liberated and so free. Now, if you're not there yet, I love that this video will give you some practical tips, but I want to encourage you to go ahead and wear a tank top. You know, even if it's just in your house, even if it's just to run to Target. You know, I say this all the time and I said this in my confidence video, humans are too self-centered. We got too many of our own problems really to be focusing on other people's problems. And I find that anytime someone focuses on an issue with you, it has more to do with some of their own demons that they're fighting, some of their own self-worth issues and less to do with you. So if you are, rather than being uncomfortable this summer, my encouragement of course is to take all of these tips, but also wear clothing that you feel the most comfortable in and that just may be a tank top. <laughs> Remember, I say this all the time, but you're more than your body. You're more than your thick arms. You have so much value as you are. And please do not let any part of your, any area, any insecurity keep you from being a bright light and shining and taking up space and showing up. So in conclusion, um, to recap, you wanna avoid tops that cut off on the medius part of your arms. Instead, opt for tops that are a little bit longer in sleeve length around your arms. You want to avoid accessories that highlight the medius part of your arms. So you wanna stay away from the armbands and instead choose accessories like a statement necklace or an earring. You want to avoid anything that's tight fitting around the arms because it will draw attention to the arms. Instead, choose tops with um, features that offer loose fitting sleeve options like a bishop sleeve, you know, statement, puff sleeve, et cetera, et cetera. You want to avoid bulky fabrics because that does add thickness to your arms and it does make them to appear thicker. Instead, you wanna opt for loose, light, weight fabrics. And lastly, you want to avoid horizontal stripes around the arms because horizontal stripes actually make things appear wider because they draw the eye from left to right. Instead, you wanna opt for vertical stripes if you're gonna do stripes because that is elongating and slimming. Don't be afraid to experiment with different sleeve lengths, different sleeve styles until you find the right and comfortable fit for you. Definitely check out the description box down below for top options, dress options that will help you find what works for you. Oh, before I go, if there's anything at all that I mentioned in this video that is not linked in the description box, you can always check out the Shop My Outfits link that will take you to my LTK where I share 99.9% .9 of all the items that I feature. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, and share. And until next time, stay blessed.